time for the headlines. With Nick it wasn't Kelly that long ago that Huawei was front and center, the main sponsor on the most iconic Canadian TV show. The Saturday headlines presented by Huawei smartphones. Huawei was already a global telecom leader. It was on track to build and supply Canada's next generation of 5G technology. But there were deep concerns about a company so close to the inner workings of the Communist Party routing and connecting your phone calls and internet connections. It's become sort of a global joke. China spies on everyone. Those concerns only deepened when Meng Wanzhou was arrested in Vancouver and the two Michaels were rounded up in China. With that resolved, many are waiting for Canada to make a final decision banning Huawei from building cell infrastructure here. It clears the deck for the Canadian government to take a step back and rethink Huawei. Huawei emerges from this dispute a diminished company. It posted its first ever quarterly loss this month. Huawei says the company will push ahead. Huawei will never give up the smartphone business. But remember, China's not just trying to expand its economy, it's trying to push it into maturity, to go from being a global factory to tech leader, and Huawei is key to that. Meanwhile, the Chinese economy is expanding everywhere in spite of the diplomatic and trade disputes these past years. Last year, uh, Canada-China trade actually have increased despite the uh, trade volume for Canada with other countries uh, has been decreasing. So the big question is, what's next? Experts say the next years will be marked by growing concerns among Western nations like Canada, matched only by growing ambition out of China. And rest assured, Huawei will be a part of both the concern and the ambition. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.